sure that made the ladies feel really good. <laughs> well, let's begin with Ohio. How you doing? Great, thank you. Good. Now, your involvement in pageantry came from a simple promise you made to your grandma. What was it? Well, when my grandma passed away five years ago, but when she was laying in the hospital, she requested that I compete for the title of Miss Ohio because she had a dream the day before she died that I was crowned on this stage tonight as Miss USA. So I'm here for my grandma. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Ohio. Kentucky, come on over. I can't wait to hear this story. You once ran into a 12 foot tall poster of yourself. Tell us about that. I did. Um, I modeled for body gloves. So I was at one of my shows and I went to, into the surf shop and then I just see this huge poster of myself sitting there and I didn't know it was there. So I was like, oh my gosh, because being from a very small town, I'm not used to stuff like that. So I see myself and what I wish that I could do for, you know, for life because it's my dream. So I was amazed and I was so happy about it and I was just shell shocked. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank Kentucky. you. Thank you very much. Come on over, California. Hello. Hello. So your grandmother had a great influence on your life. Tell us about it. My grandmother um, passed away in August, and uh, right before I competed for Miss California, I almost didn't do it, but she's instilled in me so much perseverance and courage um, and spirituality. She's here with me tonight, along with my family. Um, and you know, she's just as much, this was just as much an experience for her as it is for me. Very nice, thank you very much. Thank you very much, California. Come on over, Georgia. Hello. Hello. I understand you actually went on a canopy tour of Mexico. So I explain did. to us all what that was and how it went. Imagine being suspended on the treetops in this jungle in Mexico and just swinging from limb to limb like you're a monkey. So this is what this is like, and there's absolutely no safety net. So it's terrifying, but exhilarating at the same time. So it was the rush of my life. I don't know if I want to imagine that. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> I think you want to. <laughs> oh, okay. Georgia, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Florida, come on over. Don't be scared. Now, the craziest thing you've ever done happened at Halloween. What was it? Yeah, actually, w my ex-boyfriend and I, we took a trip to New Orleans, Louisiana to a, a voodoo music festival where there were about 150,000 fans. If you can imagine, they were, um, it was crazy concerts with Marilyn Manson, Fuel, Godsmack, all these crazy bands and their fans were there. But the really crazy part came when this huge mosh pit broke out and I'd never seen anything like that before in my life. I was so scared and it, I was just ready to get out of there. It was a really crazy experience for me. I'd never seen anything like that. All right, thank you very much. And good luck to all the ladies. Now the fun.